Welcome to Displorer and thanks for watching. In this video, we're excited to present to you some interesting facts about the beautiful island country of Madagascar. Officially referred to as the Republic of Madagascar, Madagascar is a beautiful African island country located in the Indian Ocean, approximately 400 kilometers off the coast of East Africa. Madagascar got its independence on the 26th of June 1960 and has gradually become one of Africa's finest islands. Madagascar is also rich in culture and bursting with astounding flora and fauna. From fascinating traditions and garments and a history thick with pirates to forests of ancient trees, this island is definitely worth exploring. Madagascar has a population of about 25 million people and the capital of this island is Antananarivo, which doubles as the country's most populated city. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Although the country has several indigenous languages, the official languages of Madagascar are French and Malagasy. Let's take a closer look with the 10 things you probably didn't know about Madagascar. Number 1. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world. As far as islands go, Madagascar is one of the largest in the world, claiming fourth place at 592,800 square kilometers. Ahead of it are Greenland, New Guinea, and Borneo. Madagascar is the 21st largest country in Africa and the 46th in the world in terms of surface area. Its unique biodiversity is attributed largely to the fact that it has been isolated from the neighboring continents for millions of years. Everything was allowed to evolve in relative isolation for millions of years. Because of its unique flora and fauna and its size, it has been affectionately dubbed the eighth continent. Number two, about 80% of the world's vanilla comes from Madagascar. If you're a fan of all things vanilla, then you love Madagascar. A huge amount of the world's real vanilla is grown there. Bourbon or black vanilla originates from the northwest of the country. While the vanilla orchid comes from Mexico and is pollinated by a rare bee, the story goes that in 1841, a young French-owned slave on what is today known as the Reunion Island discovered how to pollinate the orchids by hand. It wasn't long until vanilla plantations began to crop up in Madagascar. Today, they export around 1,000 tons of vanilla every year. Number 3. Madagascar was a French colony. Madagascar was given its name by Marco Polo who was the first European to report its existence. Although the Portuguese arrived next in the 1500s, it was the French who colonized the island and declared French as the official language. In the 1890s, the French set out to suppress the Malagasy language and all British influence. Madagascar finally gained its independence in 1960, although the French influence can still be observed from its cuisine. Come on to find pastries and baguettes all over the country, especially in Antirabe. While many people in the city speak French, you'll find it hard to get by in the countryside with any other language besides Malagasy. Number 4. 90% of plants and animal species found in Madagascar are seen nowhere else in the world. Apart from the lemurs, Madagascar is home to a large number of species you won't find anywhere else in the world. In fact, 90% of the wildlife is unique to the island due to its isolation. Go exploring and you'll discover exotic creatures like the carnivorous fossa, around 346 species of reptiles and over 6,000 endemic types of plants and trees. However, one of the biggest threats to the wonderful wildlife is the destruction of the natural habitat which leaves the island's non-human inhabitants extremely vulnerable. Deforestation, fires, erosion and alien species are amongst the biggest culprits. Number 5. Madagascar had a mad queen. Queen Ranavalona I of Madagascar was a dictatorial sovereign of an island caught in the crosshair of the 19th century European exploration and colonization. Fans of the Flashman series of novels may well have heard of Ranavalona. She thwarted European efforts to gain sway over Madagascar during her 33 years rule, but also focused her energy on brutally eradicating Christians, neighboring kingdoms and political rivals. So widely were the purges and use of slave labor to construct a vast palace and public works that the island's population fell from 5 million to 2.5 million between 1833 and 1839. One way the queen maintained order was the Tangena ordeal by which the accused was poisoned and then forced to eat three pieces of chicken skin. That or the failure to regurgitate all three pieces indicated guilt. Other opponents were simply thrown into vast ravines. Number 6. Madagascar was settled by Asians before mainland Africans. 
The first humans to settle in Madagascar came from the island of Borneo, which is now divided between the countries of Brunei, Indonesia and Malaysia. They arrived between 350 BCE and 550 CE in Canoes. They weren't joined by mainland Africans until almost 500 years later. Over time, other Africans, Asians and European settler groups arrived, each bringing their own unique contribution to the culture of the island. Number 7. The cuisine of Madagascar reflects its cultural diversity. Foods eaten in Madagascar reflect the influence of Southeast Asians, Africans, Indians, Chinese and European migrants that have settled on the island. The cornerstone of the diet is rice. In fact, the word to eat in Malagasy is mihinambari, which means to eat rice. Rice and local food sources were added by East African migrants, Arab and Indian missions, and European transatlantic traders. In modern Malagasy cuisine, garlic, onion, ginger, tomatoes, curry, coconut milk, vanilla, cloves and turmeric are common flavorings. Zebu, a kind of African cattle is a common meat and peanuts, greens, bananas and rum all feature prominently. Madagascar is amongst the world's main suppliers of vanilla, cloves and lang lang and also a major supplier of coffee, lychees and shrimps. Number 8. Madagascar is one of the poorest countries in the world. With an annual per capita income of 652 euros, Madagascar has been constantly ranked as one of the poorest countries in the world. After its independence from France, it struggled under the leadership of one incompetent government after another. A series of civil unrest and political chaos ensured. When ex-yogurt peddler Magravalo Manana took over as president in 2001, introducing new currency, rules, and reduced the country's foreign debt by 20 billion dollars madagascar's future looked bright unfortunately he's been ousted from office and the country is sliding back into political chaos number nine only 11 percent of the country's roads are paved traveling in madagascar takes time not only because it's a large country but also because of its underdeveloped and poorly maintained infrastructure According to the World Bank indicators, only 11% of the total roads are paved. Most of the roads are either extremely bumpy or puddled and muddy. During the rainy season, many of them are impassable, forming huge obstacles to travel. Most car rental agencies only allow car hire along with a driver. Number 10 7.75% of the world's baobab trees exist only in Madagascar. There are only 8 species of baobab trees in the world. One of them is found in Australia, the other in mainland Africa and the other 6 only in Madagascar. For the most photogenic baobab moments, head to the wild west country around Marondava. There you'll find the famous Avenue de Baobab where two dozen trees rising up to 90 feet in the air line the dirty path heading to Beloni Tiribihina. As a little reward for sticking till the end of this video, here's an extra bonus fact for you. Number 11. The president of Madagascar has the longest son name than any other president in the world. The former president of Madagascar made it to the record books as the head of state with the longest family name. Due to how complicated his name is to pronounce, we are going to spell it out on the screen for you to take a shot at pronouncing. I wish I could hear you try. Because pronouncing his entire name can be quite a mouthful. He's closely followed by the Sheikh of Qatar. Madagascar has some of the best tourist attractions in Africa but receives very few tourists per annum. The country is currently one of the least visited countries in Africa. If you've ever been to Madagascar, we'd like you to share your experience with us in the comment section below and the best comment will be pinned. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.